One of the main reasons I went into fashion was after many years of working in interiors. I saw it as a much more intimate expression of who we are. I think I had got bored, perhaps, of decorating people's dining rooms. And I've always loved fashion, but never felt I was maybe cool enough to do it. And with vintage, I saw this amazing world of often forgotten creative brilliance and fantastic wearable fashion that really just needed to be reinvigorated, needed to come back to life again. It's like a marriage bureau, whether that's a woman that wants a special dress or a museum that wants to make an acquisition or an archive house or, for example, Ian and Lauren at the West Bank who wants to build a collection. I just always liked women's fashion. You can kind of tell a story of history through the dresses. I like being that person in between that I can find something that's been forgotten for 50 years and I can line it up with with the family that I know are going to look after it for the next 50 years. With vintage, there is a different kind of ownership. I think there's a more of a sense of a custodial ownership. You know that you're looking after something. You know that you've got something really special that's already lived a life, that's already part of history, and you're, you're merely safeguarding it, really, for the next generation. This dress is one of the more recent acquisitions of the West Bank collection and it's an amazingly exciting discovery. It's from the Autumn Winter 2010 collection of McQueen, which was the very last collection of Alexander McQueen before he died. Every time you visit it, every time you walk around it, every time you look in detail, you see something new. And that's also a very important part of the West Bank collection because these dresses are not to go behind a glass case and against a wall. They're designed to be seen in the round. We want people to walk around them to try and get as close as possible to see how the seams are sewn, how the silk is printed, how the embroidery has been stitched, and how designers have thought about every aspect, not just of the dress, but of the woman inside it. The way people react to it, there's something three-dimensional and they can relate to it. And then you can also dig into just the, the quality. Like, like, in particular, like the, the Alexander McQueen stuff, like just to see the embroidery and everything. And then, you, then you've got that, the workmanship. Key for me with helping Lauren and Ian on the West Bank collection is really the pieces that I think are not just incredible signatures of the designer, but of the time and the women that, that they were made for, because the most intimate form of art to me is what you wear. Everybody's heard of the little black dress of the LBD. This dress is from spring 1965. Silk chiffon set against silk satin, both in black, but with completely different properties of light, one reflective, one absorption. So you get this fantastic contrast between the two. It's a perfect expression of Chanel and the woman that she dressed. And it's intensely modern. It feels just as relevant now in 2017 as it did when it was made 52 years ago. With architecture or making buildings, the city is made up of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of buildings, but if you look back, only a handful of buildings will kind of stand out. And this is probably it's the same with fashion, right? You know, you go into a store and every season you go in there and there's hundreds of dresses and 99% of those are of, they're just fabric. But then if you look back with the benefit of hindsight, you'll see that every once in a while, something stands out because it marks a transition point or a high point in some um, somebody's vision. And I think that that's what this is, needs to be about, is that the hitting those points of uh, departure. The West Bank collection is very different because it's, it's about clothing that really speaks to you, irrespective of whether or not you like fashion, actually. It's about here is a beautiful thing do you find it beautiful too? 